Good morning, everyone. I'm having cereal for breakfast today, Apple Jacks. So I just wanted to show you what I was having. Hey, everyone. We just got back on our walk, me and Dulce. Now I'm making her go potty. So just wanted to show. Hey, everyone. So we have our chicken here. There's some here already cooling down. This is our sauce for the tamales. And then the... Um, Banana leaves are in there, so I'll show you more when I, we get that far. Hey everyone! I am shredding the chicken chicken breasts off the bone. I know with the bone gives it more flavor, but uh, this is what I had on hand. So this is seven chicken breasts, and we needed more because we're doing a lot of tamales. And um, so we started boiling two or three more, I think he has um, over there. So this, I've, I've shredded all of this, and I give Dulce a few shreds, you know, to give her a little treat, even though I give her tons of treats that you guys get irritated about, but that's okay. It's my dog. And um, I hope you all are having a great Christmas Eve. And now I'm done shredding the chicken. So here it is, all shredded up, and I got a few more breasts to go, and then I'm done. And I will show you the... The masa for the tamales right now. I'm going to show you this. And this is the the masa dough. It's in this big, big, big um, Tupperware container. And the leaves, he's getting prepared right now over there. And like I said, I showed you guys this in my haul. But I'll show you again. This is the Guada, Guadalupana masa dough that we're using. And then these are the tamale leaves. They're banana leaves. And that's what we're using for the tamales. And this is the, the salsa that I showed you guys on the oven already. Okay. And I'm going to show you actually how we do it in a few minutes here. Alright you guys. So I have my banana leaf here and always the rigid side goes up first the smooth side always goes up so I'm going to put a scoop of the masa in the middle and you kind of want to like spread it out a little bit because the sauce goes on it okay just like that just like in the middle right there and then I put a scoop of the sauce on there, move it around with the spoon, and some chicken. Okay, and then I fold one side, and it's it doesn't always stick, but that side folded. And then This side, that side doesn't want to go up too much. And then you just fold it one way, fold it over the other way. Under, under, and kaboom. There's your tamale. Okay. And then I am I have another leaf. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going until I have it um, full here. Okay, and you're going to get dirty, so my hands are clean and washed. It's fine. Okay, put some sauce in the middle. Some chicken. you got to put at least a little bit of chicken, because if not, it's just going to be like a sauce, a saucy dough when you go to eat it. So... Go like this, slide that, and then it pulls back. You see how it's folded right there? That's how it's supposed to be, okay? And it doesn't always do that. You just rub the outside of the banana leaf. And then fold it up, up. You can do it upward the other way like I did it before. And then there's your tamale. These are very good. We love them. I'm just waiting for him to roll his so he can give me another banana leaf. That's all. 
Thank you. Okay, and these are already washed, rinsed, everything. So these are good to go. Move that around. Okay. Can you guys see that there? Put that banana leaf there. Pull this back further so you can see. Got a scoop of the salsa. That's okay if it goes on the leaf a little bit. That's okay. Grab some chicken. And you just keep repeating, repeating, repeating. I mean, if you guys want to make these and you want to know anything about the recipe, what's in the sauce, what's in the tamale mix or anything just let me know in the comments below and i will definitely let you guys know okay let's fold that over that over over and over that's a square tamale okay and i'll just that's okay we got some, just give me a few so I can just keep going and showing you guys. Now if they rip like this, sometimes we just throw them away or make a little one. So I'll try to make a little one out of this if it rips. I mean, I won't do a big one because if that rips while it's cooking, it's all going to splatter everywhere. So, okay, some chicken, and you can do these many ways. There's some that they just do jalapenos, tomatoes, and onions with them. They have pork ones, they have steak ones. I mean, you can do them all different ways, I imagine. So, But we're doing chicken because we prefer the chicken. Okay. And I just dab it like this so it gets... Um, so you put the sauce goes in the divots of the dough or the masa and this is traditionally what they do in um, Mexico on today's date New Year's Eve well it's their Christmas today you guys so it's called the Noche Buena so they typically do this today in Mexico And they, they make other things as well, tamales, pasole, um, different types of things. Okay, it always doesn't want to, I mean, fold there. So, see how it's seeping out of the sides. Okay. And these are what we are having for dinner tonight, but we have a lot of things we have to do before we're going to eat dinner. So, I mean, dinner might be a little late tonight. It doesn't matter if they're messy on the outside because they cook anyways. Thank you. 
And the bigger ones I tend to put more chicken in so they have, you have a bite to them, you know, when you go to eat them. We'll get quite a few out of here with this. With this much dough, and we have more dough, so. My mom wants us to bring some over tomorrow. So. put this one in another in another leaf because it already broke on me. You just double them up when they do that sometimes. In this sauce, I would say it's like a kind of a spicy chipotle sauce. That's what I can relate it to. I guess I would. Ex that's how I would explain it to you guys. For those of you that never had have had a tamale. Up too much there. That would have been really thick. <laughs> kind of wouldn't have it even, you know. Okay. Some more sauce. You kind of want sauce to hit the whole area of the dough so there's flavor in every bite if you know what I mean. Okay. This one decided to leak out on me too so I'm gonna have to Double wrap that. Okay. 
Okay, I'll see you after a little bit here. All right, you all, now I'm cutting celery for our veggie tray tomorrow. Cutting the celery right now at the moment. Smells good. I don't like it, but it smells good. Oops, that piece. I'll see you in the next guys. I'm opening a tamale. <laughs> this is the final outlook of the tamales. They look so good. Mmm, don't you want to buy?